Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy ETA. Now, if you listen to this, you family. Y'all know I'm always talking about the Nobel Prize. And one of the ways you win the Nobel Prize is that you have to help thousands and thousands, yay, millions of people. So I need your help. Listen to me. The month of February, God has told me, feed my sheep. I already know you're going to show up. I already know who you are. Like, you're part of the family. I already know you're going to be there. Here's what I need y'all to do. I need you to spread the word so that all of God's people who need to be with us in February can be with us. So do me a huge favor. Share the wealth, y'all. Come on, do me a huge favor. Don't be selfish. huh? Don't keep this to yourself. Don't keep this to your family. I need you to get on social media and post it. I need you to call the people you love. I need you to print this joke. I'll take it to your church. I need it at your barber shop. I need it at your nail salon. Like, where Wherever you go and people you know, I need them to get this invitation. Sharing is caring. So we're going to share the wealth. We're going to share the faith. We're going to share the inspiration. We're going to share the knowledge. We're going to share the love that we give each other every day with others. Amen? So it's your boy E.T. Remember, if it was easy, everybody would do it. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but we're going to get it done. Let's go. More in 24. Say it with me. More in 24. More in 24. More in 24. People who are inconsistent have to understand that it's not personal, but there's no way to build. Mm. You can't build around that. No, you can tell, you know, my guys that I coach, NBA, NFL, whatever, bro, I'm not asking you to score 20 points a game. I'm asking you a simple question. At your best, consistently, what can you score? Right. I got somebody now that's in a very sweet position. They're on a team where they have an opportunity. So when they talk, who going to the championship? This team is in that conversation. My thing is, bro, I, here's all I want to ask you. I've seen you put up big points, and then I've seen you put up zero. Hmm. Here's all I'm asking you. What can you do consistently? Yep. Because yep. if you do this, and he, and I just want people to hear, yep. when your feelings driven, it's ebb and flows, and the problem with ebb and flows is, I can't, I I can't look at the weather, and 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 base a trip on, it's sunny one day, it's raining the next day, it's cloudy one day, it's snowing the next day, it's like I can't I can't even put my suitcase together with that. Mm -hmm. So, but if you got it's going to be sunny seven days in a row, 72 degrees. Yep. I can't. Or if you go, it's going to be raining for seven days. Yeah. Bro, I was in Seattle. I promise you. You going to the blooming. Bro, they got the sweet rain boots and the sweet raincoat. Like, bro, it's full of umbrellas in that joke. Mm. Full of umbrellas. My daughter brought her Jeep to San Diego. Bro, she had the snow thing in the back. I was like, oh, you ain't going to need, that, need here. that over here. You can go ahead and send that. They should have left that in Michigan. It ain't about to be snowing. So what I'm trying to explain to people is when you're up and down and up and down, it's not that people have anything personally against you. You just make it difficult for them to be able to rock with you or use you in any kind of way. Mm. So again, of course, Sean is doing my videography it's like okay i know what quality i'm gonna get so then i know i can ask you to do all of this of course sean just got started i can't ask him to do a marvel movie for me that that's not he ain't no right but i can say hey i got these students coming up or i got this gig over here i need to record and then what's your turnaround i can't have one time he edited and get it back in 24 the next time he do it in a week the next time he do it in a month Consider. So I just wanted to say, before I got to get out of here, I transitioned from feelings to principle. So I had to make the shift. Yep. Right. So what I'm trying to explain to people is, first of all, principle driven is way easier. I promise you it is. Principle driven is just way easier. It's just like, for real, there are some things that, and I've made up in my mind, for those of you who are listening, I think before you become great at everything, you got to become great at one thing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I made up in my mind when I look at the five pillars, I've made up in my mind that these are the ones that I'm going to murder. And then the last one, we just going to pray that, you know, we that one click with the other ones. <laughs> but for me, 
you know, and you know, see them got me the shirt, the DD shirt. You saw it. For me, my marriage is that's like the one for me. Mm. Love my kids to life, but it's like bump them kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all all gonna make decisions one day and be gone. And this nuclear uh, thing is gonna turn into whatever y'all turn it into. That's like my go-to. God has been my go-to. Speaking, it's my go-to. So, so I, I just want people to know when you principle driven, it's way easier, right? So the first thing I had to realize is you have to get a set of principles. Mm -hmm. for, I mean, just for real, like you have to hang your ha hat on something. So in this group, for all of us, you know, it's like you're going to come to eat for certain things. It's like real, bro. Like it's just certain things you're not going to come to me for. We talk about real estate. Well, you're not coming to me for that. And I'm not trying to do that like we have a crew it's like voltron yeah i i, I have my thing mm -hmm. that i'm consistent on i'm already knowing if your loved one is sick you they got cancer you know what i'm saying your kids is whatever all, automatically you calling me for prayer like people call e can you pray for me bro i'm, I'm I, that's my thing like me and god that's my thing i the first thing y'all have to do is you have to figure out your principles and then when you figure out your principles, you have to stick with them and you have to stick with them for everybody. Now, I'm gonna say this. So we run in a business. It was like two people in the business that just were not following the principles. You feel me? And it's like, yo, you gotta follow the principles. Like I end up having to just like, yo, I'm not paying you and I ain't pay. And it went for about two, three months. They was like, you not look. I was like, I asked you to do one thing. We filling our paperwork now. <laughs> We structured. Yeah. It ain't even on a debate. I ain't holding nobody money up. I'm just saying, ain't nobody else getting paid no more until you put it on paper. I see exactly what you're doing, when you're doing it. I'm trying to tell y'all that I've noticed about Didi and CJ that I had to adopt is that as difficult as it may be, if Didi, if you ask her how well was your speech, she's not going to grade you on the curve. No, no. She's not going to grade you on the curve because she doesn't see yeah. where grading you on the curve is beneficial for you. Mm -hmm. She sees that it's instantaneously your yeah. feelings, but then now you have a false sense mm -hmm. of, and I'm telling you, I see us do that all the time. And here's why I'm telling you not to do it. I'm telling you not to do it because I've seen the results of it. I've seen the results of people overlooking, and you know exactly where I'm going with this, people who overlook the behavior of their children. Like, oh, that ain't, oh, they, and you say something. Mm. And I've always, I'm, bro, I said this, I don't know if it was a sermon, but I said, yo, I got to a point for real where, because I love the relationships I have with people. I ain't know they kid. They kids didn't exist when we first hooked up. I don't know, I ain't, your, I don't know your kid. They weren't even here when we first got, I love you enough. I ain't about to say nothing to you. I want to preserve the relationship. You can do whatever you want to do. But I've seen people change the standard and I seen I end up seeing their kids dead or seeing their kids in prison 